hello guys and welcome back to my channel so i just ended the previous vlog here and i thought that i would pick up the camera here where we left so i have just done a haul and hopefully in this vlog you will get to see the whole apartment so stay tuned for that so today i have been doing a little bit shopping and haven't done that much other than work and the small shopping part but this weekend i have planned some exciting things to do i will take you guys with me to do that and if you're new to my channel my name is malin and i do videos and vlogs about luxury fashion handbags and shoes and now quite recently the life in paris so if that's something you like please consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification bell so don't miss any of my future videos so hopefully you will get to see the apartment here and more like how the Paris life is because I feel that the last vlog was a little bit more holes and packing out things um, but this one I have planned some other type of content so hopefully you will enjoy that and yeah and uh, that's the situation now and I think that I'm going to start editing the vlog for Sunday so yeah so that's the little check-in and I will talk to you guys very soon Hello guys, so today it is Wednesday and I have just been out and picking up my second package. This one was sent to a completely different location um, and it was quite a trip uh, to get it, but it is now here with me. Uh, so I thought that I was just going to open this one with you guys and yeah, let's open it up. So here is the box. I think this one is bigger than the other one that I got some days ago. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it's from Dior, <laughs> of course. Um, and here. So the first thing that I got, and actually the only thing that I got, is this Chador scented golden shimmering gel. And I have seen it in, I think it was in Oslo, and it looks so beautiful so I had to get it. Um, so here is the box, and it is just the most stunning gel ever, just look at the shimmer. It's beautiful. So here you can see the gel and it is just the prettiest gel ever. <laughs> just look at this glow. It is just amazing. And I will link this in the description box if you want to check it out as well. And I also got some freebies. Um, so let's check out that. So I also got two perfume samples, this is the Eau Noir and also the Cologne Blanche uh, which is the same samples that I got on my previous Dior Beauty order um, and also they come in this gorgeous dust bag. So that was it, I'm going out for some drinks later this evening and now I think I'm going to make myself something to eat before I'm heading out again. Uh, and yeah, so the outfit of the day is, as usual, my Frankie Shop blazer in black and my Remain tank top and also my Jerf Avenue pants, which I love so much that I have several of the same pants. I also have my Chanel dad sandals on me and my jewelry is my Dior earrings and my Tom Wood air cuff in silver for once. <laughs> And yeah, that's the outfit of the day. And I also wear my Dior bobby bag because it is very practical to have a crossbody bag when I'm going out and picking up some things. That was it for now. And I will see you guys very soon.
So today I have been out with a friend of mine the whole day. Uh, we met at Café de Flore and ate some lunch or brunch. <laughs> and then we went to Hermes and also something called the Collector's Square, which was very interesting. We got to try on many different bags and it was so funny because sometimes at Hermes you cannot try on the display models. But here we got to try on a shadow working in 25 and many mini candies and many different bags so that's definitely something that i'm going to go and check out regularly here in paris and then we went to le bon marche which is something like selfridges harrods galerie lafayette it's that kind of vibe i haven't been there actually before so it was quite an experience and we went to tiffany's and I also bought some things from my son Francis Kirkzistan, which is uh, one of my favorite fragrance brands. And after that we went to Celine, which was the goal for today. Um, so we finally managed to go to Celine uh, <laughs> right before they closed. But the thing that I bought from my son Francis Kirkzistan was actually fabric softener. Uh, so this is in the scent Aqua Universalis, which is one of my favorite scents and the first time I discovered this scent was when we were at Britannia in Trondheim because this is their signature scent uh, of the hotel so therefore I needed to buy a new one I have had one in Trondheim but I had to buy a new one now because it is just the most pleasant scent ever uh, and I feel that it is a very good fabric softener so I just had to buy it. If I manage to find a link for it I will leave it in the description box so you can check it out as well if you want to. And with that I got many samples because the lady I was buying the fabric softener from was so nice and we talked a lot about the perfumes and my friend got to try some perfumes and as you probably know I am very into perfumes. Most of them I already have them from before but those kind of travel sprays. It is very practical to have them in hand when you are traveling because I don't want to travel with my full-size bottle for a weekend vacation uh, then it is just easier to just use these kind of samples. I got the Oud Silk Mood and the Amiris Om for my boyfriend because I feel that they are more male perfumes. 
and then I got the Aqua Vita Cologne Forte and one of my favorite scents from um, my son Francis Kirkdistan and also the most known one is Baccarat Rouge 540. I have talked about it before on my channel and it is just the most perfect scent ever. Uh, it is very sweet but not too sweet in my mind and yeah I just love it so much. And the last sample that I got was the Ala Rose. I don't have the full size bottle of it yet so I wanted to try it out to see if it is something that I would buy a full size bottle of but yeah. Uh, so that was my day. Uh, it kind of seems like we haven't done that much but everything takes time. It was a beautiful day and now I'm going to bed as you can probably see and uh, I'm sitting in my bed and filming this for you guys. I cannot wait for tomorrow. It is going to be a very good day and hopefully I will manage to go to our mess tomorrow um, but if not I think I will just do some house cleaning so I can show you guys the apartment. Tomorrow is going to be the apartment tour so I hope you guys are excited for that so yeah um, and I will speak to you guys tomorrow so good night. Hello guys so as promised I'm going to do the apartment tour. This is just going to be a mini apartment tour because of security reasons um, but after I have moved out here I'm going to do a full apartment tour and yeah um, so today I spent the day cleaning the apartment and I also did some work uh, I haven't done that much more but I have deep cleaned the apartment um, just to feel fresh and also it is a lot more easier to maintain the apartment when it is deep cleaned so I have done that today and Today it is Friday, uh, by the way, <laughs> and tomorrow we are going into the city and doing probably some shopping. And I'm going to show my boyfriend Le Bon Marche. Uh, he have never been there, uh, so that's going to be very special. Uh, and I think he's going to like it. And when I was there with my friend, I didn't have that much time to uh, check out the store, so I just have been to the first floor. Uh, and I haven't looked at all the stores in the first floor because we didn't have that much time <laughs> So there is going to be a lot of things to do and so that's what I have done today and I also went out to my local bakery and Bought a baguette for brunch. Yeah, I'm kind of Adapting very good to Paris and I really enjoy living here. So I feel very motivated and inspired when I am here so yeah. hopefully you guys will notice that after some time or if you have noticed it already uh, <laughs> but I'm trying to go out of my comfort zone and do things that I normally don't do in Norway and yeah uh, and again sorry for the bad lighting uh, it is because I don't have my lights here yet uh, probably tomorrow or on Sunday we are going to fix that so yeah it is going to be better very soon <laughs> so bear with me and over to the apartment tour let's start so here is the kitchen uh, it isn't the biggest kitchen but it is quite similar to the one that I had at home uh, here is the fridge uh, and here we have a washing machine which is very practical stove and a sink there and I also have a dishwasher and that was basically the kitchen moving on to the dining table uh, it isn't the biggest one but it is functional for me and my boyfriend with two chairs and I kind of really like it because it is marble and uh, so that's also something that I love about this apartment here we have a TV and here is our couch and again it isn't the biggest one but it works for me and my boyfriend and here is the sofa table let's move on to the bathroom here is the bathroom and here is the shower so here is a sink and a toilet and here in France it is something that's very common and it is 
a towel dryer. Uh, it's not that normal in Norway, but I kind of really like that touch. Uh, so yeah, here is the mirror. <laughs> and the shower is also very functional with rain shower. And yeah, and we are back to the main area. Now let's move on to our bedroom. And I love these kind of doors. They are very aesthetically beautiful. And here is a lot of storing capacity. And here is our bed. And I really like the style of the apartment. Uh, so yeah, I think that was it for the apartment for now. <laughs> and as I said, I'm going to do a full apartment tour when I'm moving out. So yeah, that was it for today and tomorrow you are going with me shopping at Le Bon Marche and probably the Golden Triangle. We'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye! So today it is Tuesday and we went out this weekend to do some shopping and yeah we just bought some random things and I wanted to show them to you guys. It is yet another haul. So the first thing that I received it was actually a gift from my boyfriend because he has been in Norway and then he stopped by Hermes. And so the first thing that I got from Norway is an Hermes towel. Uh, so this is from the same series that I have the hand towels from and this is I think it is the beach towel or something it is massive um, and it is in the color cream and yeah I'm very happy with it um, and it is very soft and also since he went to Norway he also stopped by Dior Beauty uh, and as you probably know I have a very close relationship with my Dior Beauty essay and I don't want to kind of cheat on her uh, with buying things from Dior Beauty in France. Uh, however, with some 
certain things I do so but things that I can get from her I prefer to buy it from her so here is a pouch with many different things uh, so the first thing that I got is this rosy glow this is in the new color uh, I first wanted to try one of them to see if I like them uh, because I have the rosy glow in the pink color already but I think it isn't giving that much color uh, so the one that I went for in the new shade is the cherry shade and this is kind of like a coral red shade so here you can see how it looks it is very beautiful and I cannot wait to try it on and hopefully if I like it I will probably buy them all <laughs> and the next thing that he bought is the new Le Balm from Dior and this is something that they haven't had before and it is quite similar to the Chanel hand cream because of the shape but also how you can use it because this is like a hand lips and body balm and it is quite cute so I really like it and therefore I just needed to get it and I think it is also quite good so here you can see how it looks very good and thick but not too thick I feel that it melts down in my skin which is very good for a hand balm and I don't think it is scented at all if it is scented it is very very mild I, I cannot smell any scent which is very good because the problem that I have with my Chanel hand cream is that I don't like the scent so yeah I think this one is much better than the Chanel one already and of course I also got some freebies this is actually something that I have been wanting for such a long time and finally I have it and this is the Dior pocket mirror which is a freebie and this is extremely good to be a freebie because it looks like the compact powders uh, on the packaging and here you can see it has two mirrors and the size is quite decent to be a pocket mirror so this one I will use it a lot I think and I also got two samples of the Dior Iconic Show mascara which is my favorite mascara so it comes very handy in and I got one sample of the Dior Show Maximizer Serum which is also very good two samples of the Dior Maximizer Gloss where you can see here and I don't know if you have noticed, but it is a new Dior perfume. It has just released and it is the Dior Rivera, which is a very beautiful summery scent. It has a little bit fig, but it is also very fresh and fruity, which I really love. And I also got the 7.5 milliliter sample of that. I didn't think at all that I was going to get it because these kind of small samples are very hard to get and especially the new scents. Here is the sample and yeah, it is such a good summer perfume. I will definitely use it this summer. And lastly, he brought me also this uh, Paris Deville shower gel. So let's open it up. And this one is so beautiful. Here you can see how it looks. And I also really like the design because you just twirl it here. And then it will open here and that's the opening mechanism which is very cool um, and the Deville scent is also very good it is also very fresh and a little bit summery so I cannot wait to use this for summer and over to some more exciting things I went to Saint Laurent as you can probably see and bought something from the Rive Droid collection so here is the first bag and let's take it out so the first thing that I bought is this Saint Laurent lighter, which is also very minimalistic and cool. Um, the next thing that I bought is this Saint Laurent matches and they are also in black, which is also very cool. Um, so I needed to get them as well so I can light my candles because I don't have anything to light my candles here. So I needed to get something. And over to the big thing that we bought. So here it is in the dust bag and it is the Saint Laurent tote. This is made actually out of apple skin, so it's apple leather, which is also very cool. And here it says Saint Laurent and here it says Rive Droid. And it is such a cool 
tote and minimalistic as well and the price isn't that bad as well uh, if you compare it to the ones that are in textile because this one is a little bit more pricey but I think this one uh, will age a lot better than the other ones so yeah that was the tote and the last thing that we got from Saint Laurent is this camera which is very cool to shoot some vacation pictures or anything on it oh so yeah so that was the things that we bought from Saint Laurent and over to some more scents because as you probably have noticed I am a big fan of fragrance so therefore I buy a lot of it and it is kind of like an addiction for me so the first scent that we got this is actually discontinued uh, so it's quite hard to get and I screamed when she said that she had it and this is the lipstick on from Replica by Mason Margiela um, and it is very hard to get because it is discontinued so yeah I'm very happy with it here you can see the bottle it is very minimalistic and cool and when you smell it it really smells like a lipstick you can get that powdery feeling that you can get from a lipstick and the scent is just so amazing so I'm very happy with my purchase and I cannot wait to use it and the next fragrance that I bought is the Madurai from Memo and this is also a very light and summery scent if you ask me I really like this scent it is just amazing and the lady who was helping us was so nice so yeah I I'm very happy with this fragrance as well. And lastly, I went to my son Francis Courtesan uh, to check out the new perfume, which I also got a sample of. And this is the and this is the Aqua Medina. This is the new scent from my son Francis, and it is also very good and very summery and fresh and. That is something that I really love for summer because I feel that if you have a very heavy scent on you in the summertime, it can get too much. And I also got the sample of the Feminine Pluriel, which I haven't smelled before because they were always sold out. But this is also a very powdery scent, which I also really love. And over to the star, I went for the Baccarat Rouge 540 hair perfume for summer because I really like to spray my hair in the summertime. I have the eau de perfume but I also have the extract in the Baccarat Rouge scent and I love it so much that I needed to get the hair perfume because sometimes I prefer to wear hair perfume over normal perfume especially in the summertime because I feel it is a little bit lighter and then I don't have to worry about where I spray my perfume. I think this is the one that I'm going to use the most uh, of the perfumes that I bought this weekend. Um, but yeah, that was the perfume section of this haul. And over to some things that I bought at Sephora. Firstly, it is just a beauty blender because I needed to buy a new one. I haven't changed mine in a couple of months, so therefore I felt it was much needed. So I bought just a new one. And the second thing that I went for is this Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen, which they don't have in Norway. They don't sell Super Goop in Norway, as I know of, but when I tried it on at Sephora, I just thought that I needed to get it because I have never felt a sunscreen that feels so nice on the skin, especially in my face. Because when I'm doing my makeup with sunscreen underneath, I feel that sometimes it can cause my makeup to move a lot throughout the day. Uh, but this one feels like it is barely nothing on your skin. I will show you guys because this is the most incredible sunscreen that I have ever tried. So here is the swatch, so here you can see it on the skin and let's just, and now it is gone. It leaves no white cast or anything and it is also oil free so it feels very nice and also it says on the packaging that you can use it as a primer before makeup which is also very good because then you don't need that much product on your face which I prefer especially in the summertime. So yeah, uh, this is the SPF 
30. And here you can see how it looks. And yeah, this is 50 milliliters. And I think it was around 38 euros. So it isn't that expensive. So that was the last thing that I bought. And this weekend we just spent it in the city and trying to get a little bit more familiar with the city by walking and looking at things. So it was very nice. I enjoyed my time. So that was the vlog for this week and I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you're not done watching me yet, here is another video and goodbye! <laughs>